Hey everyone, it is Nicole. Um, so if you've watched any of my videos, especially the fall TV lineup one, you will know that I am in love with How to Get Away with Murder. That it was my ultimate show to watch um, this fall, and I did watch it. However, I was not able to post episode recaps. I think they were too long for some reason. Every time I tried to post one, it just cut me off when let it go. But I am here to post a reaction video because, come on, um, for any of you how to get away with murder fans, that whole finale. I mean, it's hard with this show because from day one, they basically told you what it was going to end up being at the climax was warning, of course, spoilers, hopefully you watch the episode before you watch me, um, that, you know, Sam was going to get killed. And you're like, who did it? But obviously it was one of the kids in the law group. And you're like, but which one did it? And, you know, early on, you found out that there's a fifth guy in the law group. Definitely was not him. So he's safe, free to go. But there are others. And um, throughout the season, you, you see how everything comes together. And it's great because you see all these flash forwards and all these flashbacks. And you're like, oh. And that episode finally basically put everything together for you. And unlike other shows, especially Pretty Little Liars, which I love with all my heart, but sometimes it kills me, they actually answered a lot more, uh, they answered more questions than they tried to give you in the finale, which I, I love, because a lot of shows today are like, more questions, more questions, we're not coming back for three months, good luck. <laughs> and they kind of slam the door in your face, and you're like, I hate you, I love you, but I hate you so much. Um, so, of course... It was crazy how they laid it out because they started showing the flash forwards and, you know, you see Rebecca is trying to hack into Sam's computer to show text messages, calls between him and Lila. And then Michaela's there to give the trophy because she can't do the exam and she's kind of freaking out. And her mother-in-law-to-be just gave her a prenup and she's totally upset about that. You know, random stuff. And finally... It all just comes together, and Rebecca's in the bathroom, and then, you know, Michaela is freaking out because Sam's getting all intense, and he's drunk because he just had the fight with Annalise, and she left, and his marriage is crumbling, and everything is going wrong, and um, so much crazy. And then, of course, Wes and Connor and Laurel are trying to get to them, and it's like, oh, <laughs> and it's the night of the bonfire. And so the first time, I was like, oh, my goodness, Michaela, that's so crazy that Michaela would have killed Sam because Sam ran out. And, of course, it's an accident. He ran out at them, and Michaela kind of, like, pushed him to the side, and he fell over uh, the railing and onto the first floor. And I was like, oh, my God, he's dead. And, of course, they're all sitting there in the living room and talking it out. And then it's it was crazy because then, you know, they were talking it out, but then all of a sudden – bam, he's alive, and, you know, nobody noticed how quiet he was, and how quiet Rebecca was, and how quickly he grabbed her and was choking her, and then they're all like, oh, jeez, he's alive, he's alive, <laughs> sorry for the flailing, but that was literally my internal reactions as I watch this, I always watch these episodes alone, and no one's in my house, so I can react however I want, which usually ends up in flails and screams and, and ridiculousness, but, um, yeah, so... <laughs> So then Connor, I believe it's Connor who actually killed Sam, and, you know, he hit him with the trophy because he was choking Rebecca, and you don't touch his Rebecca. That's what we've learned. You do not touch his Rebecca. <laughs> um, so that was crazy and awesome, and then, you know, they're deciding things, and, of course, we knew from the beginning that Wes flipped the coin about going back to the body, and he lied. It was um, proved in an earlier episode, but, you know, I think it is the best decision to get rid of the body, but then we also see them... They burned the body, which we knew, but we didn't see that, um, I think Connor, he, <laughs> I think Connor's definitely the shooting star, um, the, well, he's not the shooting star, but the killing made him look like a shooting star, as we knew from earlier episodes, again, that a shooting star was someone who's, like, so bright, and then all of a sudden they just, like, crack and, and start breaking under pressure, um, so Connor's breaking apart the body after they burn it, <laughs> Uh, they just put it into different bags, and they end up sending it to a dumpster, and of course, Connor, does, um, Wes didn't like that idea, I forget, Wes wanted, oh, Wes wanted to take it to an incinerator, and I think at this point, everyone's too tired, hopefully that doesn't bite them in the butt, because I don't think these guys would do well in prison, <laughs> um, I don't want to see them in prison, even though they did a bad thing, you know, we love these characters, let's be real, um, so they kind of covered that up, and put it in dumpsters, and we see the next morning the dumpster truck, 
you know, does its usual thing, takes the bodies, and I kept waiting for, like, one to break open and ash or body part to, like, fall out, but nope, nothing went wrong. It's sad, because the way they build it up, you're like, okay, what's going to happen now? Something's going wrong. He's picking up the trash. Hope no, that's okay. Hmm, okay. But, um, and then other things that we saw in this episode, Annalise, you know, she runs back to the cop guy, and I don't know, I'm not sure whether to trust him or not. They did, of course, hook up again, and she leaves him sleeping on the couch. But, um, I don't know, the cop, I can't tell. I get nervous with him. I feel like he's going to be like, oh, and uh, guess what happened? But, um, you know, she also doesn't know where he is, or she didn't know. Sorry, I should say she didn't know where he was, where Sam was. So I think she kind of, it worked out well. Without meaning to, she covers her tracks completely, I believe. Um, the kids, I think they did a lot. I feel bad because each one of them is cracking slowly under pressure. Kudos to Laurel and Wes because they're really good at keeping their crap together. Um, good for them. What else happened? So much happened. Um, I'm trying to hold off on the big spoiler, but I might as well reveal it. Um, Annalise knows that Sam is dead. <laughs> that is my biggest thing that I have to deal with is, um, you, we see the part, you know, the original flashback where Connor goes back to the house and he, he's looking at Sam and he goes, I'm so sorry. Because I, you know, Wes didn't want to kill anybody, obviously. But, you know, he had to protect Rebecca because Sam instantly woke up and was like, I'm going to kill her. And, um, so there was that. He tried to, you know, he killed Sam and he apologizes. And that was the original Flash. Is They did that and then they went and they got rid of the body. But in the show, we do a second Flash flashback. <laughs> is that a super flashback? Maybe. But we flash back and Wes is going, I'm so sorry. And remember, we just heard, like, all these things, and Annalise is upset, and she's calling everyone, she thinks something's wrong, Sam isn't answering her phone, and we just got off from hearing this huge, long voicemail of Annalise being like, I'm so sorry, I love you, come back home, and, um, oopsies. <laughs> my question is, first, did she leave that voicemail before, um, what I'm about to say, or did she leave it after what I'm about to say and what I'm about to say? <laughs> sorry for confusing everyone, is Wes comes back, he apologizes again to Sam's body, and all of a sudden we hear, don't be. And we look up, and Annalise is just sitting at her desk like, hello, I'm Annalise Keating, I'm here to help you. How can I defend you today? <laughs> like, And that's literally, I was just like, <laughs> mind blown in every direction. I was just like, what? What just happened? She's sitting there going, my husband's dead. And then Wes comes back and is like, I'm so sorry. So obviously Wes killed him. And she's just like, don't be sorry. So that's the thing. is, Did she leave the voicemail beforehand? And then she just saw him and was like, eh, it's okay. Eh, we had a rough marriage. Maybe it's best you're dead. Or was this after? Was she trying to cover her tracks? I don't think that was clearly answered in the timeline. So that's something to keep an eye out for. I'm keeping an eye out for that. Um... Also, craziness. So everyone, of course, goes to the person they trust. Um, Wes goes to Rebecca at the hotel room, and, you know, they, they love each other. They're adorable. Um, then Laurel goes to... I forgot his name. <laughs> Laurel goes to, you know, her guy, not her boyfriend, but the uh, guy she's having the affair with who works for Annalise, who, of course, I can't magically remember. My videos are so credible, aren't they? Um... She goes to him, and she makes up this big thing about the trophy, and she doesn't want to be seen as a shooting star. And, of course, Frank. Frank, there it is. Got it. Frank, of course, wants to make things better with her. He doesn't want to lose her. He's Frank. And he's kind of like, yeah, sure, I'll do anything. Uh, Michaela, ooh, I don't think we, we don't know where Michaela goes, actually. Ooh, fun question. Where does Michaela go? Um, we just see her the next morning handing the signed prenup over, and it's like, oh, and we're trying to think, maybe if she gets caught, she's keeping it together right now, and that's probably a good idea to sign the prenup, honey. Um, I killed somebody right before a wedding. Surprise! Um, so we don't know where she goes. But then, of course, Connor, oh, I love Connor. Connor goes to Oliver. Connor and Oliver are my one true pairing for this show. Like, I mean, well, and Wes and Rebecca, but I love Connor and Oliver. They're adorable. And, um, you know... Oliver takes him in and, you know, watches over him over the night. And Connor's like, yeah, I have drug issues. I'm going to go. And Oliver's like, what? You said you didn't even do drugs and blah, blah, blah. And, and Connor's like, yeah, 
well, I, um, I do drugs. My boss is calling me, and Oliver's like, you just said you have a drug problem and you're going to go to work? So, um, but they said they were going to talk, so I'm that total dork that loves their pairing and is just like, yay, they're going to talk next season, so we're still going to see Oliver. <laughs> um, but that's going to be hard to dodge all these questions. Um, I don't know, is Connor going to have to take drugs now so that he looks like a drug user? That would really stink. So we'll see how that goes. But he goes, of course, to Oliver because he doesn't want to admit it, but he wants to be with Oliver. And who can blame him? Um, so they all go to their respective people, and then they come back the next day, and, of course, the fifth guy has no idea what's going on. Poor fifth guy. But he did get to hook up with Annalise's assistant, the woman, who, of course, now I can't remember her name. I don't think it's going to come back to me, though. Um, but he hooks up with her, and it's a secret. So they're all sitting there, and Annalise is, like, she comes out, and she's not her full Annalise. Like, she's distraught, which is great, because the police are going to show up. So she looks great. She's playing the part perfectly, um, which she always does, of course. Annalise is the mastermind of everything. And, of course, when she looks at Wes, we see that flashback of what I had just explained about he came back, and Annalise saw him and Sam. So here's some questions for when this comes back in January. Um... Is Annalise going to, you know, did Wes tell Annalise that they were all involved? Is Annalise going to tell them all it's okay, then that she knows they're going to become, like, this super intense law-fighting team? Like, what is going to happen? Are they all going to keep him in, them in the dark? Like, hopefully, I kind of hope that everyone will know, because I think that if they don't tell the others, and Wes is just like, it's cool, it's cool, and only him and Annalise know, I feel like the others are going to go crazy and crack and, you know, they're going to they're gonna ruin themselves. So hopefully Wes said something. Hopefully it doesn't look like just him. Um, hopefully they can all work together. I'm terrible. I want the bad people to stay out of prison. Just for the show, though. Just for the show. So, so many things to think about. Um, how to get away with murder is amazing. I can't wait for it to come back in January. Awesome new fall show. Um, if you're a bad person and checked this out before you even watched an episode, go back and watch the episodes because I left out plenty of stuff. So, you know, figure it out. Um, it's a great, great, great show. Love the characters. Love the premises. Um, yeah. So that is my reaction to the fall finale, How to Get Away with Murder. Mostly just me fangirling. Sorry about that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. And as always, please remember to watch plenty of TV, but also balance it out and read lots of books, too. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.